Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to checking out Sierra Nevada's Big Little Thing IPA. All right, let's check this thing out. This beer comes in at a 9% ABV, a 45 IBUs, and gets an average rating on Untapped of 3.88. Make way for the big little thing, an Imperial IPA flexing a full malt body, restrained sweetness, and a tropical hop flavors of mango, grapefruit, and tangerine. The scooch over pour. But it's still a wonderful looking beer. Uh, hazy esque. I can see the light kind of through it. I can see a little carbonation. Um, head looks very appealing. Very light khaki flavor, finely packed. But again, too, that was probably because of the aggressive pour. It just looks cool. A very nice hop aroma. Um, I'll probably get more once I get into it. Um, well, let's get into it. Ooh, very nice. So far, very great body. I'll tell you that. That's like that was the first thing I noticed was the body. A really nice medium imperial IPA body. Oh, there's there's a bitterness, just a the hint, but not overly powering. I would say mango rind peel. Yeah, very much so. Uh, I get grapefruit. What was it? Tangerine. Nah, actually, it actually could be more of a tangerine, um, kind of like a cutie style. Everything tastes like the rind, not very sweet, tropical juiciness. That is not this. This is a hazy beer. Here are the three stages that I get out of this beer, and they're quite large stages. Right away, the first thing you notice is body. I notice the body right away. It has a very nice, medium, silky smooth body. A hint of wheat. Uh, I wouldn't even call this a hazy wheat beer. It, ju it just has this nice multi-character feel to it. Just think of it as, oh, this is a nice Imperial IPA. You're like, where's the hops? Well, then the middle comes in and it's this ever so sweet, ever so sweet malt flavor. And you're like, but there's no hops in this. This is horrible. This is nothing. And it lingers there for two, three seconds. And then it just builds to this subtle yet strong tropical hopness of, I get, like I said, mango peel and then kind of a tangerine peel. And it's not overpowering to where it's like, oh, that's bitter. It's like, no, it's just enough. And it's not even that point to where it's like, I have to keep drinking it to balance the bitter. No, I don't. I can let this stay. I'm perfectly fine. 9%. Big little thing IPA. I'm enjoying this one. And the other really cool aspect of this, this was two bucks. Two bucks for a 9% really well done IPA. Nothing I can complain about for $2 for getting this quality of a beer. So if you're looking for a cheap but well-crafted, very tasty double IPA and you want one of that big boy ones not the juice bomb hazies type thing you kind of want to remember what a west coast tastes like but not so much you want a mix of the two this this one is really good Sierra Nevada's big little thing IPA I would recommend this one as having in your fridge see you guys Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. Have you ever had Sierra Nevada's Big Little Thing IPA or any of their other Little Thing IPA series? They have a couple of them. They have Little Little Thing. I think they have Sweet Little Thing and Something Little Thing. And there's like three or four variants. I think I've had them all. But this one intrigued me the most. See you guys.